I'm Pastor Billy Burke, so good to be with you here tonight on Victory Over, Victory Through, just victory in your life. This is a new paradigm, this is a new season, and God has great things in store for you. But we are where we are. Our faith gives us the ability to project that we're somewhere else until our natural being gets there. But you are where you are in the natural, but by faith we're somewhere else. Jesus didn't leave the Holy Spirit to say he will do this for you. He never said that. He said, I leave you another paracletos, another comforter, and he will help you. He's your helper. That's what the Greek word parakletos means. He will help you. So God never wanted us to be independent of human responsibility. We're to do our share. We fill the water pots, yeah, he'll make it wine. We give him some fishes and loaves and he'll multiply it to the masses. He will help you overcome. He will help you abound. He will help you dream again. He will help you. But he needs your and my undivided cooperation, our engagement. And that means fending off all of these voices and, and, and it means all of that, but it means giving the Holy Spirit something to work with. And, and if he sees you putting forth the effort to see past where you are. You can never just focus on where you are. You've got to see past. That helps Holy Spirit. When you were, remember when you were younger and you, were, you couldn't go out and do whatever you did, whether it was playing sports, a ball game, or going shopping, or going to a movie, you couldn't wait to get back on your feet again and you, you saw yourself engaging. You saw past your sickness. You saw past your surgery. You saw past, you know, whatever situation, I can't wait to, and you would say that, I can't wait to, I'm looking forward to. That's where you need to be right now. If you just can just begin to see past all the restriction, all the shutdown, you know, all of the things that are ebbing and flowing in the wrong direction. Things have changed. We don't know if they'll ever be the same. They may be forever different. There'll be similarities of the same, obviously, but our world is going through such a transition. Romans 8 says, the whole earth is groaning for the manifestations of the sons and daughters of the most high God. Oh, wow, that's exciting. But the Holy Spirit wants to come in and help you see past where you are. Practice visualizing. Practice your eye of faith. Practice seeing what you want to do and where you want to go. And when there's a period to this and when this door closes and you're into that new season completely. Practice seeing that. And the Holy Spirit will help you see what you can't see only in part right now. He said in Ephesians 3.20, if you ask me for anything according to my word, then I will what empower you beyond your own imagination, beyond what you can even ask or think. But he does require you to ask, and he does require you to think, to see past. If you hold on to hope, he'll help you. What do you mean hold on to hope? Prophecies that haven't been fulfilled, they have yet to be. Prayers that haven't been answered yet, they have yet to be. Dreams that haven't come about yet, that you've had for so long, that have not yet come to be. I'm holding on to hope for that prayer. I'm holding on to hope for that prophecy. I'm holding on to hope that that dream that I've been nurturing and carrying inside of me for years is yet to be seen. I want to hear a new sound come from my mouth. God wants to hear a new sound. He'll help you if you just begin to take your words and refuse to be negative, pessimistic, doubting, 
against. Practice just letting words come out of your mouth. That issue, that issue, I know God's up to something good. I may not fully understand what it is and why it has to come about. I don't know, but God is up to something good. He will uphold me. He will preserve me. He will sustain me in the time of trouble. God's up to something good. Learn how to answer people before they ask you a question. Practice answering people with positiveness. Boy, this is very difficult. Well, it, it's challenging, but I, I see the Lord in it. Well, I don't know how we're going to make it. Well, I don't know about you, but boy, I'm just hanging on. There'll be promise. Learn to respond. Learn to make a different sound come out of your mouth. It's a magnet for the Holy Spirit. It's a magnet for the anointing. It's a magnet for a breakthrough moment. Holy Spirit, will you help me? That's where it begins. Holy Spirit, I desire your help. I desire your input. Help me see past where I am. Help me hold on to hope for answered prayer and fulfilled prophecy. Help me, Holy Spirit, create a new sound coming out of my mouth of positiveness, of faith. For I know you are attracted to faith. You're attracted to someone who believes you said if you pray and you believe you'll ask anything if you pray and you believe oh i want to believe help me believe that's what the man in the bible said in mark chapter 9 i, I believe it help my unbelief help me fully believe help me see past this what i'm in it's just every day, it's all day, it's in the news, it's on the papers, it's on the internet. Help me see past this. Help me either cut it off completely or see past it that there's greater days ahead, that the best is yet to come, that you saved the best wine for last. Help me, I ask you for help, I, that supernatural undergirding, help me hold on to that hope and help these words coming out of my mouth change. Put the unction in me to be different, to not join the negative group, to quit hanging out on the telephone wires with the crows, but to soar high as the eagle. We weren't made for the telephone wires that only go up so far with the crows. We're made to fly above the storm. Give me words that cause me to soar into the heights of the anointing in the presence of God. Oh God, I receive healing. Oh God, I receive uh, freedom from stress. Oh God, I receive supernatural provision. I call in every seed that I've ever sowed. Oh, every, every harvest I have not yet received. I call in debt cancellation. I call in divine favor. Just begin to let a sound come out of your mouth. Don't go to bed tonight before you say, God, let the favor fall. Say that with me. Let the favor fall. Let the favor with God and the favor with man. Give me a double whammy, a double portion from heaven. Let me see things I've never seen, hear things I've never heard, experience the depth of the glory in my innermost being. Help me, O Lord. Feel differently, see differently, hear differently. I mean sensitize, sanitize, sterilize every five of my, um, my senses, all set, every sense. Let them be captured by the presence, by that holy, holy presence from the Master. I receive it now. I will give you the portion to work with. Come. Help me. Come in thy own special way. Come in thy power. Come, Holy Spirit, and help me. I will give the portion that I can. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray you believe that. I pray that you're going to begin to really ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Give me the grace. Give me the words. Give me the thoughts. 
you'll be amazed at what will begin to happen when you call on the help of heaven. It can make all the difference. Get out of assuming. Get out of entitlement. Get into asking and seeking and, of course, knocking. That's your word for today. There's a number on your screen. Someone's waiting to pray for you. They really, really are. Pray the prayer of faith. Believe for you. You know, and of course, when you want to make a donation, we'd be happy to receive that. As we continue to do all that we're doing, expenses are going up. It's, it's costly to do what we do on this regular basis. I know you need finances too. So if you're in need, you, you do with what, you spend it where you need to. If you have some you can send our way, be happy to receive that and to put a blessing on you for giving into the ministry. I know it will bless so many people. When you give a donation of any kind, of any size, I want to send to you this CD. It's, it's a whole month of May called Leaving It Go. If you want that CD, it's better that you call the number rather than just send a gift online. Call the number, tell the person that's uh, one of my prayer partners on the prayer team, just say, I'm going to make a donation. I want that CD, Leaving It Go. It's a powerful, powerful revelation. It will benefit you. We're going to do another one next month, another special offer. But for this month, there's only about a week left. Get that CD. Sow that seed. Get that prayer request. Get faith being coming pumped into you. I feel them all over this room right now coming your way. Remember, until I see you again back here on the stream, or maybe I'll see you on the weekend, I keep forgetting to tell you about that. These amazing healing, virtual healing meetings we're having in Orlando that's coming on Facebook Live. So you go to Facebook.com, put in Pastor Billy Burke. You can be a part of our Facebook audience. And I'm asking all of you that are on Facebook to share this and come in and comment. Tell me what you're feeling, what you're What's happening to you? If you have a testimony, I want to hear about that. By all means. By all means, I want to hear about that. Saturday night at 7 o'clock, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And we're about to add a Bible study very, very near future, probably the beginning of the month of June. So there's a lot of activity coming your way. Excited to do it. Excited about this new season that we're in. And all the ways what I believe for myself and my family, I believe for you. And that's Mark 10, 27. With God, all things are possible. With all things, your car, your house, your health, your money, your family, your children, your grandchildren, your business, your, your, you know, your possessions, your pets, all things, your dreams, all things are possible. Please believe that today. Call me. I want to hear from you right now. See you again here again real soon. Bye-bye. I have produced this CD. You know, so many people ask me, how long do I pray? How long do I, do I keep calling on God? Can I pray the same prayer? Can I, do I sing the same songs? And that's why, as I've watched myself struggle over the years and people struggle over the years, you know, and you try to marry experiences in Scripture so that the Scripture can trump your experiences. You don't want your experiences trumping the Word of God. Listen to me. There's a point in the time in everything you're fighting where you've prayed enough prayers, you've sang enough songs, you've confessed enough confessions, you've given enough money. Let it go. Release it. There's a time whenever you release a seed to the ground or the crop never grows. So there's a time that Do, no, excuse me, Noah in the ark released the dove. He had the dove in the ark, and then he released it to go out and bring home confirmation. So when he released the Holy Spirit, when he released that dove, it brought back the confirmation that he needed. You know, this CD, I want to get this into your hands. It'll get you off the religious merry-go-round. It'll get you out of, you know, just doing works and not having faith after you do all. Nothing worse than doing everything you know to do and then you still don't have any faith. That's terrible. Listen to what I'm saying. Get this 60-minute CD. 
It's coming on your screen real, real soon for a donation of any size. There's no charge. Whatever you decide, we're going to send that CD out to you. Get it today. God bless you.